Down on the field with Mustangs quarterback Dan Williams after the Stevenson 38-9 win in the home opener. Dan, uh, how does it feel for you guys? You win another home opener, you get back to 1-1, one and, one, and most importantly start out 1-0 and in conference play. It's, it's important for us to start off 1-0 uh, and in conference play. Um, the MAC is a very difficult league to get through, so getting the first one on our belts is very helpful. What was the difference for you guys offensively to keep things rolling this week? Obviously last week you had the big play to Preston right off the bat. And, uh, you know, things weren't as easy the rest of the way. Uh, what was it for you guys this week? How, did, how were you able to keep it going throughout the game? I think our focus this week was um, minimizing the mistakes, turnovers, and the penalties. We, we got we got rid of those. We still had a, f a few, but we were much cleaner, much cleaner up front and much cleaner uh, on the outsides today. So it was helpful. Uh, from a, uh, just how, how it – plays out on the field when you guys kick off you know you're expecting to get the ball in a few minutes what is it like scrambling when you get the ball right away? I mean are people looking for their helmets I mean what is it actually like the process of getting on the field when you get a fumble on the first play of the game on the on special teams for the most part you hear uh, you hear a turnover and you hear a sudden change and everybody's scrambling to get their stuff and get basically lined up and get settled in to what the call is going to be but once we get to the field we're good to go but I mean it's something you're not really expecting yeah, yeah, you can't we're, really be prepared for we're waiting for the defense to get, get a three and out to get a turnover or something but special teams definitely help us out big there to first play uh, what is it like you got your three guys back Preston uh, Salisbury and uh, Ellison and uh, you know you just you know Salisbury's a short guy Ellison's a medium guy Preston's a deep guy I mean you know what is it like for you as a quarterback when you have those three guys and, and you know you know the play calls coming in something you like I think one thing for me is just I trust those guys with a lot and they can do it all. They can all do deep, short, middle. They can all they can all do anything on any given play. So I'm very, very trustworthy in those guys. And we have other receivers, too, that can get it done. Uh, Kilo and Stango, we have other guys, too, that can get it done. But those three guys are very helpful in our offense and just a trust factor that we know they're going to get the job done. Can you feel, um, especially with Preston, uh, you know, that when you're watching him run a route that he's just faster than the guy that, that's, that's covering him? It's very hard to – overthrow Preston. I'll say that. It's very hard to do that. He's one of the fastest kids I've ever played with and he, he, he's a joy to watch on Saturdays. And you've played with some guys that are in Division One programs, so that's a lot to say. Yeah. Without a doubt, without a doubt. I've, I've had some guys in high school who were up to the level he is, but no one no one has been faster than Preston. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Well, uh, what do you guys have to do to, to get ready for FDU Florham next week? I think we have to keep the same consistency. We have to build on the, on the success we had today and limit the mistakes. Um, a couple of runs we want back, a couple of reads I want back. Um, so definitely things we can work on and watch the film and get better. But I think we just need to be consistent in our in our preparation. All right, thanks, Dan. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That was Mustangs quarterback Dan Williams. Four touchdowns in this 38-9 win over Kings.